Since we did some calculations, I decided to give you a short entry to R. Now the first time you see R, you might think that it would be very difficult to use. I did share that thought as well, but trust me, after some time you never want to use another statistical program. So let's start. This is R, or better, this is R Studio. In order to run R Studio, you have to install R first. R Studio is an enhanced R environment and it'll make life much easier. The way R works is that you type in commands in the console. This is kind of like programming. You might be used to GUI interfaces. That means using your program via the mouse cursor. If you access a program via commands, you can get work done in much shorter time and most importantly, it'll be reproducible. At this moment, R is empty. No data is read in and we got to feed it with our raw data. Now you might remember our example of the wheat prices in several French cities in dollars per 100 kilogram. What we do now is read in our data. The first thing we have to do is name our data frame. Let's call it price data. So in order to assign something to price data, we got to put in an arrow. That would be small s and minus. <coughs> this is the way you assign something to some uh, something different. Okay, I might type a bit slow, but that's because I, ha I have to hold the microphone on the other hand. Okay, you put in read.csv. I'll explain what that means. <clears throat> and then you gotta put, you gotta open parentheses and inside those quotation marks, I put in some quotation marks in there. You gotta put in the, the, <clears throat> the path of your file. So this is on my desktop. Oh, oops. I'll explain what that means in just a second. Just bear with me. Okay, so <clears throat> now read right in the data. What did I do? Mm, this command r command reads in comma separated files, so-called CSV files. Every spreadsheet program can save your sheet as one of those. You should always work with CSV files because computers can read them in very easily. You might also want to give R some information on your decimal separator. I use commas to separate my decimals. On default, R uses points instead of commas. So we should tell R that. You can do that by putting in comma. So the, the comma is for separating the, um, the, 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 the different commands. And then DEC equals quotation mark, comma, quotation mark. Everything you put inside the quotation mark is your, um, or you, you define your comma separator. Um, also, if my variables wouldn't come with a heading, you, you, you could also add header equals false. Mm, we, should also, we should also attach our data frame. Otherwise, R only has our data in the background. So we put in attach date, ah, sorry, price data. Again, the data frame is price data. The data frame is the thing where our values are saved in. So this, the, in inside of price data are our observations and our variables. And we gotta attach that. So um, now we have a data frame we can, that we can work with. You can manipulate it, it as much as you want. It won't overwrite your CSV files. Let's have a look at our data. So put in price data. Just put in the name of our data frame. And there you go, there you can see our data in the console. Okay, let's do some calculations with R. We are interested in the mean of our variable price. The syntax for the mean looks like this. It's mean, so the command is mean. And then you open the parentheses and then you put in the name of the variable and make sure you attach the right data, data frame. So mean price and what does it say? So, oh, there you go. This is 5.94. Um, that would be the mean. Mm. So we want to do the same thing for the variance. The command for the variance would be var parentheses price. Oh, price. Again, this is the same thing that we calculated in our example in, um, in the former video. So the variance for our data is 0.388. 
But remember, we want to know what one standard deviation is equal to. What do we do? We put in the command. It's SD for standard deviation, parentheses, and again, we put in the name of our variable. It's price. So one standard deviation is equal to 0.623 dollars per 100 uh, kilogram. Um, now you might remember that I wanted to know how many standard deviations the Parisian wheat price was away from the mean. We could write down the calculations by hand, but we won't do that. Remember, when I tell you that statistical programs label everything single observation, this comes in handy. Let's take a look at our data. So, we could do this uh, via the console, but that doesn't really look really nice, especially if you have a very huge data frame. So what we do is we put in view and make sure, uh, or make sure you, you type it right, because in, it's a difference for R, whether it's a small letter or a big letter. So a big letter, view, parentheses, and then you put in price data, the data frame, okay? And there you go. And you can see your data. So Paris is the 12th observation in our data frame. Selecting observations in R is pretty easy. Most often you can do selections by brackets. So what we need is a 12th observation. Okay, let's put in some, parenth uh, some parentheses. Okay, we want the value of price and the 12th or the value of the 12th observation of the price variable. So bracket 12 observation and now we want to do some calculations. We want to subtract the mean of our variable price. Okay the next thing we want to do is we want to um, we want to do some calculations. We want to we want to um, divide that by the standard deviation of the variable price. Okay, perfect. You can see we can do simple arithmetics with R as well. This is not even a glimpse of what R is capable of. But I but think of but I think this might be a good start. We'll talk extensively about R in other videos.